Hey guys, you have the team here, and welcome back to some more Let's Play Danganronpa 2. In the last episode, we started off the class trial for uh, this chapter, and we made the discovery that it could not have been Hiyoko who killed Mahiro. As much as I like to see Hiyoko get executed... Oh well, not my lucky day. Anyway, let's continue, continuing on. I don't know where I was going with that, but let's just keep going. Oh, Mona me! And my heart is throbbing like crazy right now! To think that the person who killed the wonderful Mahiru Kwezumi is in this room! Impossible! Impossible! That's so impossible! There's no way I can believe that! Ugh! I can't do anything! How annoying! But I'm just gonna believe in everyone. That's the least I can do. Everyone do your best. Don't lose to yourselves. And don't forget to save regularly. Thank you, Monami. Well, now that we've decided to believe Hyoko, now what? If the yeah. killer was luring Hyoko into a trap, then something that was used there might be a clue. Do you mean the letter? No, it was probably the gummy. Hmm. Huh? Candy can be a clue? Hey, when you woke up, was the gummy already there? Uh, now that you mention it, I feel like it wasn't. You feel like? Just as I thought. Just as you thought? If the killer planted evidence while Hiyoko was there, she would have thrown it away if she found it. True. Which means the gummy was placed inside the closet after Hiyoko fled from the beach house? The killer returned to the scene of the crime after I left? They wouldn't have to do something that troublesome as long as they hid somewhere within the beach house. True. That's impossible! There's nowhere to hide! I even glanced inside the shower room as I was running away, but there was nobody there! Then, does that mean the killer came back? Why would they? Hmm. I wonder... At any rate, the solution to that problem is connected to what really happened. That's what I think. Hmm. Oh, Jesus. Okay. Logic Dive. This is actually a pretty cool little game. The killer tampered with evidence after Hyoka ran away from the beach house. When did the killer arrive and depart from the beach house? Think. Just focus and think about it. I'm sure I'll be able to find the answer. Alright. I'm going to do it. It's a pretty fun game. You just have to navigate an obstacle course and answer questions. It's, it's pretty fun, actually. I like it. Why is my life low? Just gotta get used to the controls again. Alright. Did I take damage? I don't think I did before. Oh, no, no, you don't take damage when you are. Oh, I'm confused. When did the killer arrive at the beach house? Obviously, before Hyoko. It's a really cool game. Oh, jeez. I'm trying to play one of those skating games. It's a lot faster. No! Jump too early. I'm trying to be all showy. That's what I get. Alright. When the killer leave the beach house after Hyoko. Oh. Alright, question three. Where is the killer hiding while he goes unconscious in the beach house? It's all coming together! Yeah, sure it is, Hajime. <laughs> Do you think the killer might have been hiding? You spent all that time thinking just to say something so pointless. How disappointing! Hey, I saved your ass. Don't be like that, you little bitch. Didn't I just say there was nowhere to hide? Do I have to explain it in another language so you can understand? 
Her personality got a hell of a lot more forceful once she stopped being a suspect. Yeah. No, there should have been a place for them to hide. A place you didn't look, Hyoko. What are you saying? Stop being annoying or I'm gonna make Akane bop you on the head and shut you up for good. I really don't want that to happen to me. I need to answer by any means. Right, the place the kill was hiding, the place where Hyoko hasn't looked is... The same place she was hidden. The closet. The killer was probably hiding in the closet. The closet? That's where I was locked up! After you woke up, you said you rushed out of there, right? And you probably didn't look inside the closet very carefully. Oh, now I remember. I probably took some damage from the uh, rebuttal showdown. But... but could two people even hide in such a small place? And without Hyoko knowing? Yeah, That's why the killer possible. made sure to arrange a hiding place. Killer made sure to arrange a hiding place in advance. You can only think of one place. The place the killer was hiding? It's inside the empty surfboard case. Here! What about the surfboard case in the closet? I'm pretty sure they could have hidden in there. Huh? Inside the surfboard case? Yeah, you little shit. But the shelf it was on, it was pretty messy, don't you think? Two surfboards were stacked on the top shelf. And there were surfboards that weren't even in a case. The killer probably did that on purpose to secure a hiding place. Because we haven't been on this island that long. So the closet shouldn't have been that messy. I think. Then, the killer was close to me during that time? Yeah, they were quietly holding their breath and hiding very close to you. It's kind of like, in for a penny, in for a pound, so to speak. Don't you mean, it's always darkest under the lighthouse? What the fuck are you guys talking about? <laughs> I shouldn't say things I don't understand, like, so to speak. Anyway, the killer hid silently, and after making sure Hyoko left, they finally left the surfboard case. I agree with that as well. Seriously, nobody asked what you think. <laughs> There's no way the killer would leave Hyoko by herself if they were trying to frame her. If Hyoko was left alone and ruined the evidence the killer had planted, it would have messed up their plan. Instead, it makes more sense to think that the killer was hiding in the beach house, watching Hyoko. Saying whatever you want, even if we didn't ask. All right, if you don't want to friggin' get punched, just stand still and let me punch ya! What? <laughs> oh, you <laughs> shut up. Then, grit your teeth. Sorry, Akane. It's not like that. Hey, Monokuma. Can I ask you about something that seems strange to me? I believe Prince Shotoku was from the future. A man from the future is always directing the flow of history. I'm glad to know that everyone's making sense today. I'll listen to your story about men from the future some other time. As I recall. Son of a bitch again! Three or more people what the fuck is body, wrong with right? my? All right, let's try something new now. Change up the settings. Hopefully, it doesn't do the same shit it has been. Let's see. Is the killer also included among those three or more people? Yeah, that's true. But uh, well, something like that is basically what it's supposed to be. You don't sound very articulate. Jeez! You're pretty annoying for noticing something like that! I know it sounds like an excuse, but the body discovery announcement isn't supposed to be used for deduction. It's intended to create a fair trial. It's supposed to let everyone know a body has been found. So you're saying it's unfortunate that I used it for deduction? I understand your excuse, but... Depending on who actually found the body, it's possible that your three or more people rule could be deadly. Well, as long as I keep things ambiguous, I can respond to situations with some flexibility. Flexibility, huh? So what about this time? Is it three people including the killer or not? Gotta admit, Nagato's persistent. Jeez, fine, fine! You want me to say it? It doesn't include the killer this time, okay? All done. 
which means three people other than the killer discovered Mahiru's body. What's wrong with that? Nothing. I just thought it was somewhat strange. More importantly, let's get back to our original topic. You're the one who went on a tangent. Uh, um, we were just saying the killer was hiding in the surfboard case, right? And after Hyoko ran away, the killer got to enjoy the simple life of destroying evidence. <laughs> However, before we proceed any further, there's something we have to make clear. The killer blocked the roadside door with Mahiru's body before Hiyoko ran away. But what about the blood? Hmm. Now that you mention it, that mystery hasn't been solved yet. It's going to be all right. If you guys have come this far, I'm sure you can discover that answer too. Now I can tell you're getting annoying again. Now, let's start the argument, shall we? Final feature in Unset Debates, Truth Flashbacks. Basically the truth... Well, uh... Same thing as last game. Same thing as last... Uh, I already said something. What did the killer game. do with the blood on their body? Maybe they oh, I was thinking about, uh, off. the truth flashback, like copying shower, someone's weak right? point. Uh... So washing it off would have been impossible. They didn't have to use the shower. What am I trying to say? Oh yeah, you can't uh, use those what uh, about the wetsuits in the closet? points to agree with someone. Maybe they wore one when they moved the body. If they use something other than the shower, other than the shower. what did they do with the bloody wetsuit? They cut it up and flush. Flush. As someone who flushes their shit every morning, I can declare they would definitely clog the toilet. Oh god, Nakamura. Maybe it's the other way around. Perhaps someone other than the killer moved the body? Oh, no, Maybe can't. they were able to wash it off. <laughs> oh, Chiaki just got completely blown off. What did the killer do with the blood on their body? Maybe they simply washed it off. They couldn't use the shower, right? No, that's really. So washing it off would... Nope. No, that's wrong. Too bad for you, Hiko. He was wrong. They just needed to wash off the blood. They didn't necessarily have to use the shower. Mm. They could have just as easily used something else. Something other than the shower. <laughs> like what? Well, for instance, it was the drinks in the refrigerator. I see! <laughs> drinks inside the refrigerator. Couldn't the killer have used those to wash off the blood? I've seen through it. Well, Pecco. <laughs> In theory, then, that's impossible. Why? Try to remember the refrigerator carefully, and then you will understand that there's no possible way the drinks in the refrigerator were used. Ooh, we'll see about that, Pecco. For sure the one I have to use is trash can. Trash can. It's true there were drinks in the beach, however. Try thinking about one bottle to God damn, he's going fast. to wash off the blood. I can't back down! Yes! There we go. Starting to lose my grip for a second there. Just one drink. They could have used a bunch of them to wash it off. <laughs> Didn't I say it was impossible? There were no water bottles in the refrigerator. Nope. Allow me to cut through those words. There were. They were all used, Pecco. <laughs> oh, there were water bottles inside the refrigerator. How many times do I have to tell you? There were no water bottles in there whatsoever. That was after the incident, right? But before the incident, there were water bottles in the fridge. And the killer took all of those water bottles and used them to wash the blood off their body. So you're saying the water bottles were gone? Because they were all used? That's a logical fallacy. It's not a fallacy. There should have been evidence inside the trash can. Evidence like a lot of thrown away plastic water bottles. Isn't that right, Chia? Ah, oh, you're right. These bottles look like they may have been filled with water. Well, now that you mention it, when I went to the beach house a few days ago, I feel like I drank one of those plastic water bottles. Uh, you should have said so sooner. <laughs> yeah, come on, Kazuichi. Then, the plastic water bottles were used in place of the shower. Dousing your body with lots of water bottles is such a simple and easy to understand explanation. <laughs> 
hold on a sec. Now that I think about it, if they soak their entire body with a bunch of plastic water bottles, if they did that, that person would be... It seems you've realized who the killer is. Yep. If it's not hitting you guys, it will in a second. Huh? See? Just as I thought. H hold on. You... You know who the killer is? <laughs> is that true? Let me ask. Who might that be? If the killer used plastic water bottles to wash off the blood that splattered onto them, that killer, and the hero's killer, must be that person. Here's killer was Pekka. You're the only one! Pekko, is it you? Hey, what are you being quiet for? They're accusing you of being the killer! Then I should ask you this. Why do you believe I'm the killer? I remember when we were all meeting up to go to the beach. Your appearance when you came to the diner. That's right. You were soaking wet. You didn't go swimming. If the killer really did wash the blood off with water bottles, they'd have to drench their entire body. But there were no towels in the beach house, and it would have taken a while for the water to fully air dry. So you said you went swimming so you'd have a cover story. Don't just stay silent! Say something! Hold on, you bastard! Hmm? You saw her at the diner! You never saw her near the beach house, right? So maybe she really was swimming! What are you getting all fired up for, Fuyihiko? No one even saw her swimming. Yeah. No. I saw her. Huh? I don't think so. Uh, after I ran into you bastards at the diner, I crossed paths with her on my way home. So, so there's no doubt. She would have arrived at the diner from the opposite direction of the beach house. Hold on. That's strange. Didn't you just say this earlier? Anyone during that time? You told me you didn't see anyone. Don't try to tell me you forgot about that. Fuyuhiko. <sighs> Not so fast. It's too soon to decide she's a killer. We haven't established how the killer was able to leave the beach house. Now that you mention it, you're right. The roadside door was blocked, and if it's impossible to leave from the beachside without leaving footprints. Then how the fuck did the killer escape? Um, why are you all fired up, Fuyuhiko? You're not the suspect. Pekko is. Yeah, man. What's going on? Who cares about that? Answer me! If you have an explanation, then show me what you got! We might have an answer. Huh? Do you really? This mystery seems unsolvable. Well, if Pekko is the killer, then I might just have an answer to that mystery. I see. Then let's hear this alleged method of escaping the beach house. First, let's establish how the killer escaped. The killer's escape route. I might know what it was. In fact, the only possible thing I can think of is that opening. A small window. I see! Seems unlikely the now, but... The roadside and beachside doors see. aren't an option. The only other thing I can think of is... Well, no. I just want you guys to know I'm so fucking done with this shitty Elgato right now. I just lost a good, like, I don't know, maybe like five or six minutes of the game. I know it doesn't sound like much, but uh, uh, this thing's really starting to try my fucking patience, you know? For something you hear so much higher praise of, you think it's actually going to be a good fucking thing. Then why is mine like a total piece of shit? You know? <sighs> but whatever. All you guys missed was me, uh, doing a hangman's gambit. We're trying to figure out how Pekko could have used the, uh, window in the shower room. We deduced that it was her bamboo sword she used, so... Yeah, fuck it, let's go. If I recall correctly, you had it then, too. Despite the fact that you had a swimsuit on, 
You were still wearing your bamboo sword. Uh, are you saying she used that bamboo sword to escape through the window? Yeah. Pekko used that bamboo sword as a step stool and escaped out the window. A uh, sword as a step stool? You see? I knew it! I knew it was a ninja! Didn't I tell ya? A ninja could have climbed that easily. Ninjas know a climbing trick where they lean their sword against a wall and use the handguard as a step stool. Whoa! Just like a Japanese ninja! Miss Sonia, ninjas only exist in Japan. Well, it is a bamboo sword, but I'm sure a slender girl like Pekko could easily use it to climb. Well, Pekko, you have anything to say? And panic talk action once again, and just introducing Fever Time Mega Time, recognize those from the first. Fuck! Let's see what's saying. Hold on a sec, you bastard. You're saying she used your sword as a step stone out the fucking window? The one about the sword. It would have been left in the shower room, and she wouldn't have been able to recover it, dumbass! Who you, Hiko? Why do you even care? Shut up! Just shut the fuck up and answer me! If you have an answer, then fucking give it to me! If she used the bamboo sword as a step stool, it would have been left behind! Hiko, why? Why are you... That's right, PD's not against Pekko, but it's against Fuyu Hiko. Got proof, you bastard? That's obviously impossible! Shut up! Shut up! Shut up! Don't fuck with me! Got proof, you bastard! Shut up! Don't fuck with me! Got proof, you bastard! Bastard! Got proof, you bastard! You're pissing me off! You're pissing me off! Bastard! Shut up! Shut up! Shut! Got proof, you bastard! That's obviously impossible! Shut up! Shut up! Shut up! Don't fuck with me! Got proof, you bastard! Shut up! Shut up! Shut up! Don't fuck! If she used the bamboo sword as a step stool, it would have been left behind! This is the end! I feel like you have to like. If she used her bamboo sword as a step stone, she could have recovered it with her sword back. I have to keep like constantly checking my fucking capture window, so I make sure it's actually capturing, not just sitting there on the same image. Cause that's what happened last time. I didn't look, and it just fucking stopped. Uh, oh well. I'm just gonna be done if she this. leaned her sword against Fuck the wall it. to use as a step stone, she tied her sword back to. And after she climbed up to the window, as long as she hauled the bag up toward her, she would have been able to recover her bamboo sword. I see. Not just the bamboo sword, but even the sword bag, too. She used them both to escape. Hakane said she's like a ninja, but it's nothing as silly as that. Simply put, only Pekko could have performed this feat. An escape plan befitting of the ultimate swordswoman. Even so, how disappointing. If you'd only let me work with you, it would have been an even greater plan. Shut the fuck up, Knight. No! Oh, you just back off! Uh, um, is it true? Did you really kill uh, Hold on! You're just making assumptions! You, you don't have any proof. I won't accept this unless there's proof! Got it, bastard! It's fine. Huh? Huh? I said it's fine. Saying anything more would just be an exercise in futility. Echo. She made it just now, right? She been, she's my hero's killer, right? But is this right? You're not the ego is one argument is. Echo just admitted it so freely. Among flowers, the cherry blossom. Among men, the samurai. I commend your decisiveness, at least. 
Very well. If you admit it, this ends now. Let's cast our votes. Agree. Hurry up and vote. Huh. Seem right. Uh, hold on. Let me confirm one thing first. Can it wait until after the voting? This is important, and it relates to the voting. It's about Peko's motive. Mm -hmm. My motive? In the end, you had no connection to the events depicted in Twilight Syndrome murder case, right? True. Then, why did you kill Mahiru? Hmm. So it's about that. Let's see. If I must answer that question, I must say it was for the sake of justice. Oh, joy. I think we all know what's coming up now. Justice? In order to protect the justice of this world. Huh? I do not sully my hands to satisfy personal grudges. There is only one reason I kill. For the sake of protecting justice. Oh boy. <laughs> what are you saying? Justice is what makes humans human. It's a virtue that human beings should be proud of. Justice is the eternal sun and the enduring moon, the protective father and the smiling mother. Uh, hello! Earth to Pecco! If justice ever disappeared from this world, the world would immediately freeze and people's smiles would vanish. I will not allow that! It's, it's fine, just stop it! Justice must always be there to guide us, to shine bright above our heads. I'm telling you to stop it! So I must fight. I must continue to fight to protect justice. This is... could she be? As the oh, light dear. of justice shines upon my mask, I expose the hearts of malevolent evil. Justice complete! Oh dear. Hi, Paco. The center of justice that is pierced by justice. The lead star of justice that shines in the night sky. That would be me. Sparkling justice! I love how she does a little like a... Uh... <laughs> I don't know what to call it. What do you call those things? They're not a... Are they emoticons? I guess. Don't blow. Now then, let's execute justice! <laughs> what? What the fuck? I agree with you, Kazuichi. What the fuck? Pego, what are you doing? I am Sparkling Justice. In the name of Sparkling Shining Justice, I have come to deliver justice. What's going on? What's this? Chill! A uh, blah 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 blah! Uh, Pecco <laughs> finally snapped! <laughs> Everyone, please be careful! Sparkling Justice is a serial killer who claims to be an ally of justice! Clad in her various hero masks, she is a serial killer who exclusively targets other criminals! She is supposed to be... but... huh? What's wrong, Sonia? An ally of justice? So that's why you're wearing a mask! This mask is the dividing line, just like various idols. The sun is revered because it lies just beyond your grasp. Justice should also be the same. <laughs> now it's throwing the little star. Adorable. <laughs> uh, I don't get it, but, but this is becoming really crazy! What? What the heck is this? Echoes the killer? Why is it turning out like this? This is turning out to be a surprising turn of events! Indeed, Monami. Hey. Monokuma doesn't give any fucks, though. Hey! Now's not the time for you to be sleeping! Take a look! It's a killer! Oh, he's not, he's not gonna be surprised. Hey. This again? <laughs> this again. Huh? Sleep talking? No, I think he's actually seeing this, Monami. So what's your answer to my previous question? <laughs> Why did you kill Mahiru? 
This world must always be bathed in the light of justice. I must not allow even one shadow. Kazuichi is flipping the fuck out. <laughs> Evil must be eliminated immediately. No matter what, I must not overlook evil. Evil? Are you saying Mahiro is... If you knew about that incident, then you must have played the game. Am I right? And because of that, I was able to find the killer's accomplice hiding on this island like a sewer rat. Then, the reason you killed Mahiru was... Oh god, to protect up. justice, of course. <laughs> Good god. In order to protect <laughs> justice, I have become its merciless sword and executed justice. Oh, man. Holy crap! She's such a stereotypical psychopath! <laughs> She's so gross! Heko. Is this your true identity? My true identity? <laughs> I have already forgotten who I am. It just shows my determination. My determination to protect by throwing away what's most important. Hmm. I'm willing to become anybody to shower this world with justice! <laughs> That's probably the most intense laugh we ever heard from Pekka. <laughs> Sayonji's sprite is flipping out over there too. Oh, and Chiaki's too. Wow. Oh, I can't stand this anymore! Let's just end this farce already! End it. He's right. This... We need to end this already. Killer, in the end. No mistake that it was Pekka all along. Let's go over this incident one more time and then let's end this. Closing argument. Favorite part of the class trial. Let's see. Oh yeah, this is Mahiru Matt. What Mikon? This one is the killer forge two letters. The first one to arrive at the beach house was Hiyoko. Next one to arrive was Mahiro. Alright, so let's see. Would the killer leave us in the No, that's not it. Wash up blood, the water bottles. First one I found the body was. Oh no, there we go. Kyoko is all the way back at the beginning. in this case. Okay. The incident began this morning when Mahiru spoke to Hyoka. Mahiru most likely played Twilight Syndrome murder case, the video game provided to us as the motive. She probably wanted to discuss it with someone else who also appeared in the game as a character. Hyoko accepted Mahiru's invitation and they promised to have a more detailed conversation about it later. 
However, someone else overheard their exchange. The killer. The killer eavesdropped on their conversation and used their promise to devise a specific murder plan. By preparing a specific item, they plan to manipulate the two's actions. That item was the letters. They sent fake letters to both Mahiru and Hyoko. The letter Mahiru received told her to come to the beach house at 2.30 p.m. And the letter Hyoko received told her to come to the beach house at exactly 2 p.m. By providing different times, the killer was able to lure them to the beach house separately. Hyoko totally trusted that letter, showed up at the beach house at 2 p.m., just like it said, and was drugged into unconsciousness by the killer lying in wait. After putting Hyoko to sleep, the killer immediately hid her inside the closet so they could frame her as the killer later. At 2.30 p.m., Mahiru arrived at the beach house. She was completely unaware that she had been targeted for murder. Approaching her from behind, the killer struck the defenseless Mahiru with a specific weapon, the metal bat that was left at the scene of the crime. The bat was brought down onto the back of Mahiru's head, and with that, she took her last breath. According to Mikan's autopsy, Mahiru died instantly, so she probably never knew who killed her. With that, the killer achieved their goal of killing Mahiru and began to tamper with the crime scene. They dragged Mahiru's body so that it blocked the door leading to the road. Also, the mask found at the scene of the crime was something the killer personally left. I'm not really sure why. My guess is, it's something similar to a calling card. That's how the crime scene we discovered was created. However, by moving Mahiru's body, the killer got blood splatter on them. Plus, the shower room had no water because it was out of order, so they couldn't wash it off. But the killer expected something like that to happen. Instead of the shower, the killer used something else to wash the blood off their body. They used plastic water bottles that were inside the beach house refrigerator. We can assume they carried the bottles to the shower room before the sequence of events had happened. In place of showering, they washed the blood off their body with water bottles instead. However, they had no choice but to dispose of the empty bottles in the beach house's trash can. Littering is against the rules, and it would have taken too much time to throw them away somewhere else. After the killer washed off the blood, they hid in a specific spot inside the closet Hyoko was in. The killer hid inside the surfboard case that they had already emptied beforehand. After some time had passed, the sleeping drug used on Hyoko wore off and she woke up. I can imagine how badly Hyoko must have panicked when she came out of the closet. I mean, she made plans to see Mahiru, who lay dead right in front of her. From the shock and panic of being considered a murder suspect, Hyoko fled from the beach house. Because of that, she left footprints in the sand. Everything was a trap set by the killer to frick. After Hyoko left, the killer finally came out of the surfboard case and placed a gummy that they brought with them to shift our suspicion toward Hyoko. Ironically, placing that gummy is what helped clear our suspicion toward Hyoko. Finally, the killer began preparing to escape from the beach house. They couldn't risk leaving their footprints in the sand, so they escaped the beach house using a different route, the small window in the shower room. However, that window is rather high up and can't be reached easily, which is why the killer used the bamboo sword they always carry with them. The killer took the bamboo sword out of its bag, tied the bag to the sword's handle, and used the sword as a step stool to reach the small window while holding the sword bag in their hand. As long as they're able to reach the window, all they had to do was pull the bag to retrieve the sword. And so the killer left the beach house and appeared before us as if nothing had happened. But their wet hair and swimsuit didn't dry right away. There also weren't any towels at the beach house. 
So, when the killer met up with us, they said they had been swimming for a while as an excuse. So how about it? This is the truth behind the incident you caused. Isn't that right, Heko Pekoyama? I see. Well then, <laughs> it's quite the elaborate plan. I still feel bad my hero died though. Poor my hero. And what of it? Oh jeez. She's like totally cool with it. I haven't done anything to be ashamed of. What are you saying? You killed Mahiru! Wrong! I punished evil in the name of justice! Kazuchi's still freaking out. <laughs> That's no reason to condemn me. Whatever! Let's hurry up and vote so we can freaking kill this weird crazy bitch! There's no way you can kill me. Justice can never be killed. You should all know that as well. What are you saying? <laughs> Even Gundam is a little freaked out. What are you saying? Is that deliberate? <laughs> to protect what's most important to you, you must be prepared to throw away something equally important. Understand? Um. I don't get it. I don't get it at all. Monokuma is still past the fuck out over there, too. Ugh. <sighs> Probably dreaming of despair. Sweet little thing he is. Then I shall be direct. Justice must carry on in order to keep justice. To keep me alive. You all must give up your lives. Yeah, no. It's not going to happen. Are you serious? It's not serious. It's justice. If I fall here. Who will combat the evils of this world? Now, follow your hearts of justice that reside within you all, and save my life to protect justice! Hurry, and carry on justice! Give me a break! Who's gonna die for you? If we let Pekko go, we're all gonna get killed! For the sake of grand justice, a few sacrifices are unavoidable. <laughs> a few sacrifices? <laughs> Don't worry. The justice that you give your life to protect will never go to waste. I can't stand her anymore! Let's vote already and execute her! Um, however, before we do that... Monokuma, the vote! Hurry up and let us vote already! Wait, Sonya wants to say something. I'm awake! Now you are. Ah, he finally woke up! I've heard your story! Well, I wasn't listening, but who cares? <laughs> but who cares? God damn it, Monokuma. Now then, please pull the lever in front of you and cast your vote! Who will be chosen as the blackened? Will you make the right choice or the dreadfully wrong one? <laughs> Such heart-pounding excitement! Oh, jeez. Guilty vote is Pekko. <laughs> Trial end. Yeah, we did it. Pardon me. Can we please have a little more time? Eh. Um. Pardon me. Can we have a little bit more time? Please let us continue our discussion. Continue our discussion? But isn't the voting over? Yes, but I cannot help but feel strange. Something about this is definitely strange. Huh? Strange? What do you mean? There's no doubt that Pekko is the killer. That is true. However... As a serial killer enthusiast, you're wondering if Pekko is really sparkling justice, am I right? Huh? Oh dear. Hey, Miss Sony isn't a serial killer enthusiast. She just has a little more passion about them than most. That's an enthusiast, buddy. That makes her an enthusiast. <laughs> Honestly, it felt strange to me too. I mean, there's a distinct difference between what we know about sparkling justice and Petco, right? There is. Distinct difference? You know. Sonia describes sparkling justice like this. 
justice complete. The center of justice that is pierced by justice. The lead star of justice that shines in the night sky. That would be me. Sparkling justice! What the heck was that? That is Sparkling Justice's catchphrase. No, no, serial killer has a catchphrase? I read it in a magazine in the library. There's only been, only ever been one person, a journalist, who has interviewed Sparkling Justice. The article was written in their native language, so I tried translating it. I see. So that's what it was. That's right. They have a different nationality. I see. Paco is not Sparkling Justice. That's right. According to what Sonia said. The article was written in their native language, so I tried to translate it. Well, fuck. If she had to translate it, that means it wasn't written in English, right? Huh? Yes, the magazine I read was written in Spanish. So, Sparkling Justice's catchphrase was no doubt written in Spanish as well. Which means the journalist and Sparkling Justice are both... Oh dear. From Spain? <laughs> well. What? No, not even a boogie has the amount of gun. <laughs> All this time, completely misunderstood. When I first heard about those serial killers, Genocide Jack and Sparkling Justice, I just assumed both serial killers were from the same country. But that wasn't the case. If so. Heko, you're not Sparkling Justice. There's no way that's possible. Or, you insist that you're sparkling justice. Can you try saying that catchphrase in Spanish? Would you be able to do that? Hmm. It appears that the time has come for this mask to come off. Hmm. However, that's perfectly fine. It's no longer necessary. And even if you find out now, it's too late for you all to do anything about it. Oh dear. My duty has already been finished. My duty as a tool has already been completed in full. A tool, eh? Uh-huh. Looks like she's back to normal? That mask has fulfilled its purpose, just as I have. What do you mean? Fulfilled its purpose? Too late? What are you getting at? Now that you've already cast your votes, is what it means. Huh. Huh? Hey! Be clearer! We're asking you what your purpose was! I have no purpose. I am just a mere tool. T tool What do you mean? She called herself a tool. Which means someone else used her then? Yep. <laughs> of course. A tool cannot do anything on its own. Look at that creepy grin of hers. I see. I finally understand. Well, I did have a sneaking suspicion all along. What do you mean? I mean, besides Pekko and Hyoko, someone else was also at the beach house. Yep. S someone else? There is proof that establishes that fact. Try to remember it. When Nagito brought up the... Body discovery announcement. I see! Are you talking about the body discovery announcement? Yep, that's right. I mean, didn't Monokuma say so earlier? Yep, doesn't include the killer this time. That announcement is made when at least three people discover a bot, and in this particular case, the killer, Pekko, is not one of those three. If that's the case, it would mean only Hyoko and Kazuichi discovered the body, but... I see. That leaves us one person short. So that means there was one more person in the beach house! Yep. Plus, the fact that Monokuma tried to hide that truth from us by being flexible with his own rules. That's such a vital clue that it could alter the outcome of the trial. Like an accomplice, for example. No. That's not it. Huh? Am I wrong? Yes. From your basic way of thinking about it, you are wrong. Didn't I tell you? I'm just a tool. That means I'm just a simple tool to be used by that person. That person. Very specific. 
Uh-huh. Therefore, that person would have the strongest motive out of anybody else here, right? That's right. That person. None other than You're the only one! Is it for you, Hiko? I see. Now I finally see the connection. The connection between the motive and the incident. But even if it's the motive, it's just a game, right? There's no reason to believe it's even true. Would you call a game like that a strong motive? Must have been for Fuyuhiko. But then again, the game was only part of it. The real motive was the pictures. So here. I can prove it with this! But one of the pictures. I didn't think it was necessary to confirm it if it didn't have anything to do with Mahiru's murder, but there's no doubt that game is based on actual events. That much is clear if you saw the ending prize. Yep. Photos awarded for beating the game are not actual in-game screenshots. They're all actual photos with the surrounding scenery cropped out. You knew all along for you, Hiko. Damn, I skipped the new part. You knew whether or not the first victim in the game was actually your little sister, right? Because whoever beat the game first will receive the ending prize. That's right, that envelope we saw him with. It was the envelope, right? The person who received the ending prize. It was you, wasn't it? If you were shown a photograph of your sister's dead body, you'd have no choice but to believe it. Even so, you wanted to deny the truth. That's why you sent those photos to Mahiru to confirm it. Hey! Why are we talking about Fuyuhiko? Who cares? Because Paco is the killer, right? But you voted! And there's the rope. That's why I told you. You're all too late. As I said before, I exist as nothing more than a tool. I had no motive for killing Mahiru. No reason to kill. Not even the will to kill. I was simply used as a tool. As long as I am a tool, I cannot defy my orders. Huh. Here you go. Uh, hey! W what's going on? Can anyone give me a simpler explanation? We done goofed. It means I'm not the killer. The true killer who used me as their weapon to kill Mahiru Koizumi was Fuyuhiko Kuzuryu. What? I agree with you, Gundam. What? What the hell? I see. That's what you were aiming for all along. No, I have no aim. But my young master does. My young master planned this from the start. Young master, hey. Young master? That is the truth of this case. I'm sure you realize it by now, but it's too late. You cannot undo the vote. Oh, fuck. That's a problem. If Peko's allegation holds up, that means our vote was incorrect. In that case, the person who gets to live is... Just... me? That's nuts! No matter how you look at it, that's completely insane! How would Peko be a tool in the first place? Peko is a legitimate human being! A legitimate human being? That's not for you to decide. It's for Monokuma. The votes have been cast. All we can do now is wait and see what Monokuma decides. Huh. What the hell? Well, fuck. 8791. Oh, I still got neck. Not bad. 108 mono coins. That seems really low. But oh well. I'm glad the recording's kept up for this long. I just had to switch USB ports. <laughs> Good to know. Hmm, I'm in a bind. And what a bind it is. I guess for now, let's take a quick recess. We'll be right back after this commercial break. Well, 
This is awkward. <laughs> Although there were some twists and turns along the way, the one who killed Mahiro Koizumi is... Hold on a sec. Okay, sorry. I'll wait. So sorry, I'm just hesitating. Hey! There's no need to hesitate. No matter how you look at it, Pekko's the killer. <laughs> Why? Hey, hey! Why? <laughs> well, that's obvious. You're not a tool, you're a freaking human being. Well... If I'm a human, then I'm not a tool. If that's what you're saying, you're wrong. You just don't know. You just don't know that there are people who only exist to be tools. People such as myself. Only exist... to be tools? Hey! What does she mean for you, Hiko? <laughs> Pekko and I... grew up together. Um... Are you two childhood friends, then? No. It's completely different from that. Right after I was born abandoned by my parents, the Kazuryu clan took me in. You're nothing but a tool. They gave me a reason to exist. I'm to fulfill my duty as my young master's property. What? Property, you say? <laughs> it means she's a hitman arranged by my clan to work directly under me. If my young master is attacked, I must defend him as his shield. If he intends to kill, I must be his sword. <laughs> They're little babies, that's pretty cute. <laughs> She's still got the sword. <laughs> Adorable. That is my only reason for living. Before I am human, I am my young master's tool, first and foremost. Until this body of mine can no longer move, I shall fulfill my duty until the very end. Huh. That is... You are wrong. You are not a tool, Paco. Because if you are a tool... <sighs> Then what was all that time we spent together? Nothing. Wow. Huh? <laughs> I was ordered by my young master to behave, just as I was ordered to interact with you all. What? Our professional relationship doesn't exist on this island. We're just fellow high school students now. Right after we arrived on this island, that is what my young master ordered me to do. You fiend. That is why you were hiding your relationship, you mean? No. It's not as if... That started the moment we arrived on this island. Before that, my young master always told me to hide our relationship. My young master loathed relying on his household's power. He even hates me, the tool given to him by his household. I am nothing but a tool. No matter what I am told, I am nothing but a tool for killing. If my young master intends to kill, it is only natural for me to act as his tool. Then, the one who tried to kill Mahiro wasn't you. It was... Fuyuhiko? Damn it! It is what it is. When I thought I beat that game, I was suddenly given these photographs. Damn it! I don't understand. Why is my sister in these photos? Don't fuck with me! And she's... she's covered in blood! What does it mean? Why can't I remember? How come I don't know if my sister is dead? You... We tried to confront it with my hero. And that's why you wanted to talk to her. So? Yeah. I sent her the photo because I wanted to make sure she'd respond. But she never replied back to me. Not only that, she started avoiding me too. But... I'm pretty sure Mahiro was confused too. I mean, we all were. Before anyone played the game, we didn't even know this incident had happened. That's why, even if we were told that we were connected to, to it, there's no way we could accept it. Um... You know, when Mahiru spoke to Ibuki, she mentioned something about this. Aww. So we actually have plans to go to the beach with everyone. Oh my my! Wait, huh? You're not gonna go, Mahiru? If you wanna talk about it there, it'd be totally fine. Hmm. Um, it's pretty important, so, you know, it'd be troubling to invite the others. Huh? You sound pretty serious. Um... Serious or not, I can't really do anything about it on my own, so I want someone to think about it with me. But... If I need to make a, if I need to make amends, I would, but I don't even know how. Are you serious? That definitely sounds serious. I can cancel my beach plans for you. <laughs> no, it's fine. It's important that everyone gets along anyway. Just tell them I'm not feeling well. Plus, it doesn't have to be today. There's always tomorrow. Oh. She wanted to discuss how to make amends, but Hiyoko was the only one who accepted her invitation. I should have gone too. But 
But it was rather convenient for you, wasn't it, Fuyuhiko? If you can make use of their plan to meet each other alone, you can easily lure Mihiru into a trap, right? Hey! By calling them both to the beach house, you were able to pin the blame on Hyoko. What the- Seriously, what the heck? An eye for an eye. It's the world I live in. My little sister was murdered. If the reason that happened was because of some person here- Damn it! I have no choice but to kill that person on my sister's behalf, right? And so? My young master thought of a plan and executed it. I wanted to use the bat as the murder weapon because in the game, that's what was used to kill girl E. For revenge, clubbing the person to death the same way my sister was killed just seemed to make sense. Even if it ruined my disguise, it was the only thing I could do to avenge my sister. That is... So that is why you killed Mahira with the bat? Yeah. But still, I believed her up to the very last minute. That, that game was just a work of fiction. But even so, that bitch... Hey! If that game is actually real, are you the one who killed girl E? Why you? Hey, I don't want to hear about that. But... The fact that your sister was killed is terrible. It's unfortunate, but... Why? You shouldn't have killed that girl. Shut the hell up! Who cares about that? Just answer me. What do you know about that game? What are you saying? You had no right to do that. Nobody has the right to judge others for their crimes. Revenge is just wrong. Want me to be honest? This whole time, I was acting like a coward. Even after I called over Mahiru, I was still trying to find an excuse not to go through with the plan. <sighs> but after she, after she said all that to me, that all went out the window. I got really pissed off and grabbed the metal bat that I hid under the bench. But at that moment, <laughs> the young master called for me and made me kill Mahiru. Huh? Huh? Young master. I am finished. Well, well, well. What? You... Are you saying that you killed because you were ordered to? <laughs> A tool is not defined by its will, but by its actions. <laughs> I don't get this at all. Of course! Well, of course you don't understand, because humans are completely different from one another. Everyone's birthplace and upbringing is different. It's obviously impossible for them to understand each other. <laughs> So everyone just pretends to understand, and pretends to be understood. Be quiet. Hey, you're too annoying. Can you just be quiet? Yes, indeed! Okie dokie, I'll be quiet. <laughs> <laughs> Goddamn, Monokuma. Afterward, just as my young master planned, I proceeded to tamper with the scene of the crime. However, I also considered the possibility of being found out. <laughs> so in order to get you guys to make the wrong choice, I decided to make use of that serial killer story. It cannot be! You insisted that you were sparkling justice in order to make us hasten our, vo our votes? So, we fell for it. We fell for her trick all along. <laughs> That's right. You guys have made the wrong decision. You voted me, a mere tool, as the killer, unaware that my young master was the true killer. That's obviously wrong! Hold on. Don't act like our loss has been decided yet. No. No, it should be decided already. Isn't that right, Monokuma? This is troubling! I'll admit, all this talk about Peko being a tool sounds pretty persuasive. You approach it from various angles. It makes sense that Fuyuhiko is actually the true killer. <laughs> hold on! I'm telling you to hold on! I see. I see. So for Pekko, Fuyuhiko himself is your true hope, then. On his behalf, you killed Mihiru. And now you're trying to sacrifice us so that you can protect him. Great! He would only go so far th because he's your one and only hope. Wrong! I have no hope. I am just... <laughs> a tool. <sighs> Well, even if we ask her, she'll probably just play dumb anyway. Now then! So, going to, so I'm going to ask someone else. Hey, Fuyuhiko, what do you think? Huh? About what? Hey. Is Pekko just a tool to you? Using that tool, sacrificing, surviving by sacrificing Pekko and the rest of us. <laughs> Is that your hope? What? <laughs> Hold on! What's the use of asking something like that? What? You seem distressed. Your tool doesn't panic like that, right? Jeez. Pekko, be honest. Are you trying to protect Fuyuhiko of your own free will? Hey. Fuyuhiko, can you tell me the truth? The fact that she killed on your behalf. The fact that she lied to us by acting like the killer. Are those all things you ordered her to do? Is that the truth? Huh? I... I... Um... Fuyuhiko? Yeah. 
I know you hate our guts, but if you listen to Pekka, we're all gonna die. I... 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 You just have to tell the truth. I was only following your orders. You just have to tell them that. I... 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 Fuyuhiko. You mentioned this before, but... You don't really feel that way, right? You're not that kind of person. Because if you were, you wouldn't be hesitating like you are now, right? <laughs> young Master! There's no need to hesitate, Young Master. Please, just tell them the truth. Young Master, you were the one who ordered me. I just did as I was because I am a tool. <sighs> For you, Hiko, this could be considered your ultimate choice. Regardless, either way you'll still lose Pekko, but... Hey! If you insist you're the killer just as she said, you can sacrifice us and survive alone. <laughs> or would you rather reject Pekko and fight alongside us against despair? Which one will be your hope? Let's hear what you have to say. Damn it! I... I... Young Master, I am finished. You... What the hell did you do? You already know, right? What's going to happen? After you kill someone? I did it because I know. There is no way I can let that happen to you. <sighs> hey, Pekko. Do you remember what I told you when we first arrived on this island? Our professional relationship doesn't exist on this island. We're just fellow high school students now. You need to run. Got it? Just let me take the fall so you can get away. Young master, that is impossible. Sh Shut up! I'm ordering you not to worry about me! There is no way I cannot worry about you. I am... my young master's tool. A tool to protect my young master. Without an owner, the tool serves no purpose. God damn it! we are done with that crap! Why won't you listen to what I'm saying?! Regardless, I will not flee. Besides, I'm fairly certain they'll discover the truth soon enough. Then... why did you... I have a plan. Huh? A plan? Please do not worry. I promise I will keep my young master alive and return him safely home. You... you idiot. What do you intend to do? I intend to fulfill my duty as your tool. Now please, go! Hyoko will be waking up soon. After you leave, I must block the door to the road with Mahiru's body. Hurry! Damn it. You better run away. Got it? Just forget about me! Forget about the Kuzuryu clan! You better escape! So how about it, Fuyuhiko? Please, tell me the truth. Sorry. I'm sorry, Pekko. I guess... I couldn't go through with it after all. Young no master! I'm a disgrace. Because... If that's actually what I have to do to survive... I just feel ashamed of myself. It mean I can't live without depending on something. I just feel disgusted with myself. Pekko. And... If I admit that... It means... You really are just a tool to me. How many times did I tell you? I don't want a tool given to me by the Kuzuryu clan. Young master! Oh. oh my, so this is how it turned out. Too bad! And here I thought it'd be more brutal and heartless. Man, how disappointing. Which reminds me, which means everything happened thanks to her meddlesome actions. Why There's you? no way a human that meddlesome could ever be considered a tool. Hey. Monokuma, you know all along, didn't you? You knew about what Pekko and Fuyuhiko discussed. Jeez. Well, it's obvious now. I mean, that's why you have the surveillance cameras. You're just having fun, right? Huh? <laughs> Man, even if it was an act of desperation, Pekko's claim was surprisingly interesting. <laughs> You're actually the first to try to influence the outcome of the trial like that. <laughs> but too bad. You're definitely the killer. 
Pekko, the tool of the heart, is the killer. Sorry. Pekko, I'm sorry I couldn't fulfill your request. Even though you did all that to provide me the chance to survive. But I... <sighs> I had a feeling it would turn out like this. Huh? Young master! You have a kind heart, despite being a Yakuza. That's why you question your position and constantly worry about it. For you to sacrifice someone else just by... Just to escape by yourself. I believed you wouldn't accept that so easily. <laughs> We've been together ever since we were children. Even a tool would understand that. What? Then... Why? Even so... I, I wanted, wanted you to escape. escape. I wanted to protect you. Echo. I am terribly sorry. I am terribly sorry that I will not be able to serve by your side until the very end, young master. Goodbye. <sighs> I'm sorry for what I've done to you all, too. It may be a selfish request, but please forgive my young master. And please do not cause a senseless killing such as this ever again. Of course. <laughs> Pekko. <laughs> That will do, Monokuma. Why don't you start it already? I will never feel despair. As long as I am a tool, I am fully prepared to die. So cool! But will you be able to maintain that composure until the very end? People who act as proud as you always shed tears of despair in the end. <laughs> now then, let's begin! Young master for you, Hiko. Please permit me to make one final selfish request. So... Didn't I tell you not to call me young master? I want you to remember. The tool, Peko Peko Yama, who used to stand beside you. I would like it if you remembered that. <laughs> That's it. How many times do you have to keep? I don't need any tools. <sighs> you did say that. Then let's begin, the punishment time brimming with despair. Jeez. Why don't you get it yet? Thrills, chills, kills! This time for the ultimate swordswoman, Peko Peko Yama. Why? You stayed by my side all this time. Why don't you get it? Now then, I've prepared a very special punishment! I've prepared a special punishment for you. I... I never needed a sword. Or a shield. I never needed a tool. So you didn't need to become a tool. Let's give it everything we've got. You just you just needed to be yourself. I I never wanted a tool. I just wanted you. Only you. Young master? Why? Why couldn't you understand? We've always been together ever since we were kids! Let's go! It's punishment time! Please, Echo. Don't go! I need you! Don't leave me! Young master? Young master! You bastards enjoy your fucking punishment.
grab some piece of shit. I'm over in the corner fucking crying that whole time. I swear every time I go through this fucking game, no matter how many times I'm gonna play this game, that scene always makes me fucking cry. Ugh. God damn. And now, yeah, let's just get back to that. Oh, this cannot be. Possible. Even for you, Hiko? <laughs> this is bad. This shouldn't be allowed. People dying so easily. Falling like dominoes. <laughs> you bastard. What is this? <laughs> I probably look like I probably looked just like Nekamaru when I ran off. <laughs> oh my god. This can't be. This is a lie, right? Paco! Oh you he go! Such a waste. For heaven's sake, this is just the worst. Jeez, what a waste. This conclusion, what a waste! This is why she should have just discussed it with me. Damn it. I was, it was supposed to be a clash between two hopes. I was crushed into something so unpalatable. Oh. You, you're still talking about that. Yeah, fuck you, Nagito. Ew. What the hell's wrong with you? Aren't you pissed that two of your friends got killed? Such I am pissed. And I even feel sad and hopeless. But still. Isn't that right? It's going to be alright. This despair is worthless. Fuck you, you psychotic piece of shit. The higher the ladder, the brighter we can shine. I'm not reading that. <laughs> Calling me a ladder, huh? You say some pretty interesting things. <laughs> in a way, your misguided of hope. Ho wow. In a, in a way, your misguided thoughts of what hope should be remind me of him. Hmm. I don't really understand what you're saying. Listen carefully. Anyway, I shall make a declaration. We will finally destroy- we will definitely destroy you. <laughs> <laughs> the hopes of all the ultimates here will definitely, completely, utterly destroy you. There won't even be a strand of cotton left when we're done with you. That's your future. How much longer are you planning to say such stupid things? Don't you understand? Even Fuyuhiko died, you know? Not yet. He's still alive. What? Fuyuhiko is still alive! You serious? Fuyuhiko! Frantically, we rushed over to Fuyuhiko's side. <laughs> Jesus. He, he, he's still... He, he's still breathing! He, is he gonna be okay? Do something! Hey! You need to save him! Hey! Uh, I'm trying! But his blood... Can't you... Can't you do anything about it? God damn it! Hmm. Well, serves him right. You're so stupid! Were you filled with hope at the thought of saving her yourself? That's why you ended up like that. You stupid brother! Well, what are you so laid back about? You need to hurry up and save him. I don't believe it! Huh? A surprise order? What the heck? Why do I have to burn my precious calories just to save some Yakuza scum? Wrong. It's your duty to save him. Huh? Duty? Hey, hey! Because it's written in the school trip rules. If the black is exposed during the class trial, they alone will be executed. If only the black gets executed, then Fuyuhiko shouldn't be allowed to be executed. <laughs> well, if I could, I would do something about it right now. But since my magic stick was taken away, I'm practically powerless. Hey, hey! But you, you should be able to do it. Jeez, I guess I have no choice. Fine, fine. Well, there's no way I can violate a rule, even if it's me. So... Fine, then. I'll save him. Really? Like... <laughs> I was just gonna do that all along. So I've already prepared this. Mm -hmm. Huh? Prepared. That's when it happened. A siren began ringing out of, from out of nowhere, and gradually grew closer and closer. <laughs> Dr. Monokuma. Oh, uh, an ambulance? Just leave the rest to me, Dr. Killgood! Dr. Killgood? You've already killed your patient! We gotta get this patient to the Monokuma Hospital ER and get him under 24-hour observation stat! So, I'll see you later! 
Uh, man. After he said that, the ambulance containing Monokuma and Fuyuhiko vanished from our sight. Is it really gonna be okay to leave this to Monokuma? Damn it. It can't be helped. It's not like there was any other way. Perhaps. He's gonna be fine. She probably can get better and come back to us again. <laughs> You're right. He's definitely gonna come back and talk a lot of smack as if nothing happened. Hmm. Then, all we can do is wait. <laughs> Why do we have to wait for him? I mean, he caused Mahiru's death, you know? However... However, we must put that aside since Pekko has already been punished. Or else we will not be able to advance forward. Fall, my tears. There are no second chances in life. We cannot return to what has already transpired. There is no other way than to move forward, like an arrow of light piercing through the darkness. <laughs> D damn it! I guess. Things aren't as exciting if a shit stirrer like him ain't around. I didn't realize it, but I was wishing for that too. From the bottom of my heart, I really wanted him to return. <laughs> Fuyuhiko! I don't want anyone else to become a sacrifice. And so the class trial ended. But we still can't see the real ending that we really want yet. When that finally arrives, what will have happened to us by then? No matter where I look, no matter what possibilities I look for, I can't see our future. Not even a speck. As if we were in a boat, floating unreliably in a vast, dark sea. We were just left there. Alone. Only one word to explain our situation. Despair. We couldn't find a more suitable word than that. And there goes the bomb. Fifteen days left. It's like so much time was used up during this class trial. Or during this chapter. What were I like 19 last time or something? I forget. You guys can see it, right? You can see this countdown too? Poor people are already gone. We took our time preparing the hope fragments, but now we're no longer able to gather them. Honestly, I'm not so sure anymore. Whether it's better if we let them leave this island, or if we shouldn't let them escape. For those kids, which option is hope and which is despair? But I guess there's no time to hesitate. If this countdown reaches zero, that guy will probably take over our plan's final stage as well. What lies beyond that is the foul resurrection of the ultimate despair and the continuation of the biggest, most awful, most tragic event in human history. Th that cannot be allowed. We must prevent that by any means necessary. Even if we have to pay the ultimate price, I will definitely prevent it by any means. Everything is for the sake of a future filled with hope. There goes Chapter 2, Seeing Punishment, Sin, and Coconuts. And... Down yet another two people. Two ladies this time, instead of two guys. Twelve students remain. What will happen next time on Danganronpa 2? Goodbye, despair. But first, before we do that, of course, we're gonna get our chapter end presents. We have a present. Black Dragon Blade. A memento of... Pekko. I forgot to go over what uh, we got from Teru Teru. What we got from Chapter 1. It was a memento of Teru Teru. I guess I'll save this here. When I start up next chapter, I'll go like these three. Like, I'll, 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 I'll alternate between each chapter. Okay. So since that's all said and done, I'm going to end the episode off here. So next time on Danganronpa 2 Goodbye Despair, I might have my friend on. Maybe not. Um... So yeah, I guess I'll see you guys next time for Chapter 3 of Let's Play Danganronpa 2 Goodbye Despair. I'll see you guys then. Bye.